Something like this? Uh... Why do you look... Why do you have a... I'm just, I'm just confused at what's going on back there. <laughs> Unrecognizable, bro. You, you, the top half of your head looks like Karen, then you have a fucking massive beard like your liver king, man. What's going on? What, what, do, you, I think, what do you think of this? Oh, you want to go with something like that? This is not doctor. That's like investigator. No, well, this is... I don't have fucking doctor, man. So this works. Yeah, sure, that works. All right, cool. Jesus, always hitting my trip, bro. I'm just fucking hitting. Hopefully, they don't they don't uh, ring ID me, you know. I think it's gonna have to be a. Uh, maybe you might have to go to be someone else, man. What? This is too What's recognizable. This? this is too recognizable. How is this recognizable? Your whole head looks like you, man. No, it doesn't. Your hair doesn't I'll... even match your beard. This looks like a phone. My whole head is covered. Okay, what's the voice that's going to match this? Hi, how are you doing today? Like, seriously? Mm, we're going to need some uh, more significant changes here. I'll give you a second. I'll give you a second. <sighs> Bro, I'm not doing a BBL. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got to be my hot secretary. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, you got to. Okay, fine. What about this? Like this? No. Dude. I'm just oh, like this? Okay, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Okay. <laughs> what else Bro, can I'm gonna be real. I had face? a scientist haircut. Oh, I could put lipstick on. Wait, what? Like that? Oh wait, hold on. Dude. Listen, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Look, just look at this. I mean, you know, maybe I just uh You can put the N95 on because I'm a doctor, you know? Okay. Something like this? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's do this. Wait, hold on, hold on, chat. Make your voice can... nice and sweet and high pitch. Hey, okay, hold how on. you doing? Hold on, I'm hold on. Susan. You're my Susan. No, no jeans. This looks dumb, right? I would just keep a. Uh... Oh no, put your BBL. Can you put your BBL bottom on with this? <laughs> I think so. My ass sticks through the fucking thing, though. But put the heels on. Put the put the heels on. I can't. The heels is the pants. Yeah, that's just that's, yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> this is Susan, Susan Butterbottoms. Actually, I'm gonna take the mask off. No, no, keep the mask on, bro. It looks too much like you. This looks like me. Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> okay so what's this job okay before we go this is a, a very important to me okay okay so i need you to say walla and swear on everything that you will not have an outburst okay you will stay quiet as your position as a secretary unless spoken to okay wallahi you have my word my okay. name is susan butterbottom no matter what man Yep, you have my word. I don't have a gun, by the way. You don't need a gun. Okay. I mean, Susan Butterbottom, like, seriously? Like, I really can't right now. Uh, if anybody talks to me, that's my son. Huh, what's up? Where's a nice, very calm, relaxing place to talk? Uh. Um, like a park. Relax. The dog park. At Maldini's? No, no, no. Or oh, the one near the pond, the the lake near my house. 
Like at the uh, at the dock right here. Okay. Hmm. Let me actually. Do we have like an office somewhere we can use? Want an office? I would say rust compound, but it's theirs, you know. Let's see, let's see. Damn, if this is the old view, it would work. <clears throat> um... You know, let's just do the dojo. Alright, perfect. Two doctors at a dojo, that makes sense. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Speaking of the dojo, we gotta talk about that after. Figure Hello? out the fights, man. All right, come on down to the uh, Dragon's Dojo, and we'll take care of this. Okay, be right there. All right. All right. Bye. What'd you say? So we gotta talk about the we gotta talk about the VLC fights. Dean Watson's been wanting to get them going as well. All right. Like we gotta figure out a fight. All right, I need you to stand behind this wall until I call you out. You heard me? Yeah, sorry. What was that? Say it again. Go stand behind that back wall until I call you up. You stay quiet back there, Susan Butterbottoms. You heard me, Susan? Shut up. I'm not gonna say anything. You, you, I'll come out and you're aware of it. I still won't talk, right? You can, you can introduce yourself. Say, hey, it's me, Susan by the Bottoms. I'm here to take I'm, care of any of your needs. Make sure you, you have a nice a experience. Sir, you, you need to relax. I'm smelling a setup. Susan Butter Bottoms, you need to relax. All right. Oh, briefcase. Why, yes, indeed. Miss Butterbottoms, uh, keep my coffee hot next time. Hello? I need an assassination on a kid that... Who? Oh. He's what Suarez. This guy has a flat top, orange hair. His name's Rupert. And if you do it for me, I'll give you... I'll give you one AK a week for free. All right. I'll take care of it, but give me a sec. I'll call you back later. 
No, yeah, I'm not gonna be around. Just kill him All for right. me. Okay, and tell him that I send my regards. All right, brother. Bye bye. Ah, yes, lady. Sorry about that. I'm a busy, busy Hi, man. Okay. I have a lot of clients. I must take care and tend to their needs. Uh, I appreciate you so much. You know, today has just been a mess, and we have a lot of things that we have to sort through, both of us. <sighs> Very well. Will the other two men be joining yeah. us today? They're gonna be here yes. any minute, Mr. K. They're a bit resistant. So, okay. I don't know. Usually the men, open up. Men are usually resistant to anything emotional. So true. Typical. They're so quite true. weak in the emotional department. <laughs> yeah, we have to toughen them up because they've been hurting us a lot. It's been Come really on. painful. I'm gonna run you guys through a spiritual cleansing until they get here. Okay. Go ahead and just start stretching out real light. Okay. Don't worry about my briefcase. A lot of important stuff for now. Yeah, of course. I bet there's a bunch of papers and stuff. I feel so much calmer already. Ah, uh, yes. Just yeah, like this that. this definitely is helping. I know men can be quite stressful. I, you know, have a few men friends myself. <laughs> this does feel really good. I swear the aura in here is really something. So tell me, what kind of problems have these uh, men been causing you, ladies? Let's just say there might be another woman. And that's only okay when girls do it. Mm -hmm. Well, luckily for you, I have a very special uh, helper that's going to be helping me today. I'll be calling them out oh. shortly once everyone else oh. arrives. Okay, they nice. specialize in cognitive research and things of that nature, so... They should be able to provide That's some good. great input on this situation. Really good, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they'll be here any second. Let me check outside. Oh, nope, they're not here yet. You know. Oh, there. I think there's a car that just pulled over. Oh, did they? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Carmela. Act cool. Remember, we are right. They are wrong. Yep. Absolutely, I got you. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh, oh, so this is the therapist where you grab. Welcome to yes, my I common want therapist. House. I want therapist. Baby, move. Come on in, guys. Everyone, please stretch out to clear get our relaxed. Ourselves. You guys seem very tense and filled with, I hate to say, testosterone. So much testosterone. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. Estrogen moving. You need to allow the estrogen to enter into your it's guys' body. It's not bodies. this kind of therapy. What do you mean? Oh my god. You're not getting anything That's from okay. me right now. Don't be afraid to shake some ass in here. We that's good for you, sweetheart. Is it? I want come on. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Man, come on. You can't be getting bricked up in therapy. Relax back there. I'm not getting bricked up, man. I'm all. I'm. I'm. Wait, what Stress. the fuck? That wasn't Obi. getting you bricked up? What? What the fuck? You see how you, like you, you see what all? I'm talking about? Oh see how she's already like. Mr. K, do you see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Are you she's suffering from erectile dysfunction? That's why I was Look here? how nice I was. You know, I, I came and I got this for her, you know, on the way here, and she's already what fucking screaming at Wait, me. Wait, what did he get you? Let me see. <gasps> Where, he got what me did you get me? What did you get me? What did you get me on the here? Thank you so Baby, much. You know, I'm sorry for you. yelling. See? You know what I'm saying? All right. No. Sweetest. Oh, my God. Okay. Anyways, I need to stay strong. We need this therapy. Okay. Now we're going to form what I've learned over my 24 years of research and therapy and mind development. It's called the love circle. Everyone come on and take a circle. <gasps> okay. Hold hands and form a circle. This is going to combine... And level out our chakra levels to one piece for harmony. Oh, I love it. Now, what okay. seems to be going on today? Do you want to start, Anna? Let's see when it started. So, me and Turk <laughs> are married, right, Turk? Yes. Where's your wedding ring? Uh, Grand girl has it. She doesn't wake up anymore. Oh, why did she have your wedding ring? ring? See, I would never do that. Um, I was just, you know, joking around at that moment. So you give away your wedding ring? Yeah, I forgot to ask it back. 
Okay. And why didn't you buy another wedding ring or buy me an engagement ring that I right don't have now, anymore? Right uh, now, it's, it's rough times, baby. It's rough times. Rough you know? times, but you just bought your gang member a car. No, I had that car. I just gave it away to her. What do you mean? You said you're going to sell a car and get money for us so you can buy wedding rings. No, that's the other car. That's, that's Who did you give on. the car to? Uh, I gave, Nuno. Uh, I gave Nuno the Itali. And how much is that car worth? I don't know, twenty k or something. It's a shit car. No, no, it's worth like a million dollars, and you gave it to another woman. No, no, it's not another woman. It's my gang member, and I care about my gang I, more than I anyone. Know. I, I don't care about that. Like, I'm just like, you don't spoil me anymore. Mm. Wait, <sighs> yesterday. What, what did you do yesterday? I need I more a than kiss. just a penis. <laughs> If I could provide some doctor my loan payment, here. actually, let me see how. Let me provide some my... doctor input. Five here. days late on my loan payment. Oh, I've been through this before. I've seen this happen many times again. And through my research, we call this uh, the scientific term. Uh, it may be a little too complex for you guys, but this is called fuck bitches get money syndrome. Uh, he may be oh. suffering from this. There's a few treatments we can go to help cure that, though. How do you feel about that, Doc? Know. I never cheated. <laughs> Well, I'm you don't have girl. to cheat to have the syndrome, Tuck. Wait, what was it? Get money, get bitches? What fuck was bitches it? get money. You're saying fuck Which your bitches wife, are you worried fucking about getting money? <gasps> Does Ming have it too? Uh, we I don't have to hear his anyway. story. <laughs> I did not fuck. I'm guilty. <gasps> oh my god, he does <gasps> have it. <laughs> wait, wait. What I'm do you guilty. think we should do, Mr. K? Okay, we'll get to that shortly. Now, okay. Carmela, what seems to be going on over here? Well, you see, I thought things were like, you know, <laughs> going well with me. And then, um, oh, sorry, hold on. I just got a text. Um, one second. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You know, we're supposed to be having a serious therapy session, and she just pulls up her phone text on somebody else. Okay, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry. So, anyways, I thought that things were going <laughs> really good with Ming. We went on like, one day he taught me how to fly a helicopter it was really romantic and then he tells me that he gave keys to this new new girl and you know i was upset about it first rightfully so because i don't give away keys to random guys that i just met and then i go to meet this new new girl and she literally pretends to pass out and tells ming that i beat her up and he believes what? her that's no crazy Man, that's, that's crazy, crazy that behavior. is crazy he took her to the hospital and everything and she left faked her. it <laughs> oh my god this is not the full so story messed up. okay what's the full story then hmm? the full story is like turk said you know i'm just helping a fellow gang member out letting them wake right. up at the, at the you know the gas station and, you know, I mean, look how it looks, right? I go inside for a minute. Next thing you know, I come out. Nunu's dead on the floor. Mm. And Carmela's standing over her body. But she, forgot to, she forgot to tell you that, you know, even after all this, she pulled out her knuckle dusters and started punching her on the floor. Yeah, I did. I and did And then when I told Carmela to get in the car, me. she stormed off. I yeah, I did. I mean, she was faking it, so she made it real, right? If I could so, give Mr. some doctor input here. Um... Yes, Quick please, question. please. Is, is Ming suffering from any kind of performance problems? <laughs> no, he's not. No, because he stated that she he was inside for a minute and then he came out. I don't know if he's trying to throw little hints here because I know he's known to do that. Oh, so Ming, hell could you, could you no. clarify that when you came inside? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just how it is. Came inside girl. Girl. who? This new girl. Yeah, new <laughs> girl. Only Maybe. when he thinks no. about her. Now everybody's just twisting my words. There's two things I see going on here. I mean, what's your words, though? I, I don't know. It seems like Carmen here is suffering from a maybe possible horrible, disgusting, vile, recent ex-boyfriend who has scarred you for their vile, disgusting acts. Uh, Rami did scar me. Ah, yes, Rami. That's what I was thinking. Yes, Rami. He really scarred me. He cheated on me. He bought April cars and all this. Oh, it was just so bad. And it seems like Mingy is just such a passionate lover that he's overtraining in his free time.
trying to increase his performance. My fucking and, other And balls? let's not forget, after all this happened, she gave Finkel Dan keys to her house and removed my key. Yeah. Rightfully so. so. Rightfully so. so. And then Finkel came out, of my, <laughs> came out of the house and started kicking the shit out of my car. Okay, well, I didn't know he was kicking the shit out of your car. I see. I see. So this runs very deep. I'm going to have to call in my specialist now. Her oh, name is okay. Susan Butterbottoms, world-renowned specialist in all types of relationship categories. Um, Ooh, okay. I think we'll start by doing a physical examination here of Ming to see if maybe it's a physical problem that's causing these mental issues or maybe some deeper problems. Susan, right. Susan, please come on out. Let's see her. Hey, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> hey, guys, Susan, Susan, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Hey, Mr. Kane, come here, give Mama a kiss, baby. Mm, that's right, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh my, mm -hmm. are you romantic smack, like that with all that of your? Ass, baby. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, all right. It's very important to be very intimate with your co-workers. It creates a nice bond in the workplace. Now, oh, good. Susan, can um, you perform a so... dogologist test on the Mr. Ming back there in the right corner? Uh, we need to find how many women he's been fucking lately. Yeah, how much please, ha Susan. Has he been cheating in? Yeah. Um, Ning Tai, is that you, I baby know. daddy? <gasps> you see baby what I'm daddy? <laughs> this is the type of, you know, like, she's gonna get jealous Let now, me tell so you like... something, Ming. The way you were giving me them back shots the other day, so, so sexy. What is, is you she talking talk about? Oh, hell no. What is she it, fucking talking about? Talk oh, baby boy, off don't off act all surprised too, now that you're right women now, here. Bitch, stand up. What? Fuck you um, and your wrinkly ass hands. <laughs> oh, Susan uh, is an escort on the side. This is true. Um, <laughs> what? Escorts? So, do you know both of these <laughs> gentlemen over here? Baby, it was one time. I swear to God, it was one time. What? I didn't. I only <gasps> one time. Psycho! <laughs> Baby, I, hey, listen, listen. It was just when we had a breakup thingy where we going to. I, I well, this is good. This oh, is good, ladies. Relax, relax. relax. This is progress. Ladies, let's just calm now down. We have here. The problem. Finally, the truth comes out. Now we have the problem in one room. We could ask Susan and the men themselves what they see in Susan that they don't see in you, ladies. Yeah, yeah what, what are is they it? What does what she, she have that I don't have? She's beautiful. Excuse you? I'm not beautiful? Dance in the middle, Susan. Ming, don't laugh. <laughs> you want me to dance, baby? You want me to shake them hips? Not right now, not right now. I will call you later. Don't, don't, don't. <gasps> what? 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 I mean, it's like, baby, let me just get something sexy for you right here, okay? You know what I'm saying? Ha ha ha. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Give me a she second. She does have a fatty. Wait a second. I mean, she put holes I'd in her jacket for her I'd know that ass anywhere. Let me tell you something, Mr. K. Let me tell you something. Okay, okay? you tell me something, baby. This is going so good. So oh, good. Shit. Oh, my. <laughs> so, bitch, get off my weave. Bitch, get off my weave. Ah! Oh! He's sorry. Seven. I thought you were someone else for a second. What the fuck? Let you touch my weave, my hair like that. Okay, you know I won't touch your hair again. Come sorry. Carmela, it's not okay to bring violence to the, to the poor I women that have been violence. harmed. I didn't violence. I touched her hair. <sighs> Let me calm down. Yeah, she didn't know these men were in a relationship. You gotta be angry at the men here. Yeah, you're fucking right. We should be angry at the men. Why are you gonna be angry at me again? You're never gonna get any earned. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's go ahead. What do you see in Susan that you don't see in your, your beautiful, loving girlfriend? Um... I'm not his girlfriend. He never asked me to be <gasps> his girl. No fucking way. Shady. No, that's too much. Wait, I, I, I don't know about that one. What do you, what do you mean, mean that's, that's too much? Too much? Yeah, I'm with I mean, Kirk. That's I was too much. Kirk's girlfriend <laughs> after a day or two. <gasps> really? Yeah, she had no mm -hmm. choice. I made her my girlfriend. Yeah. What don't I have then? What is it, man? What does Susan have that I don't? Well, Susan doesn't have other relationships with men. What? Hey, listen, I told you that I'm just using Rami for the helicopter. Susan How many times do I have to say that? Yeah, and she's an escort. That doesn't mean she's having a relationship. Susan, how many boyfriends do you have? Oh no. Susan, go ahead. Don't be shy. Susan, 
No one's gonna shame you, girl. Oh, ten, ten fingers. Ten fingers, look at that. Ten oh, fingers. yeah, true. She has ten boyfriends. Wow, Susan. Damn. <laughs> Now, I seem to have made a Susan big really error here. It seems like Mr. Ming actually may suffer from the fuck bitches get money syndrome and Turk over here might have the reverse. Hey, what do you mean? Seems like Ming just wants a quick fuck. <gasps> so he just wants to fuck you. Well, well, well. You can't send it a bag not, now. You're not going to say anything <laughs> about it, Ming? You're not denying you, this, Ming? What am I? No, it's not true. Well, you like, can say you, that. Hello. I did just say it. it's not true. I don't want to just do that. And what do you want to do? I want to. Yeah. What do you want to do? You know, this is actually. I've told you. Do what you I want, want a relationship or not? You know, it seems like Ming's having a little. What I like to call a mental breakdown. Susan, can you take him to the back? Get him all relaxed. Make sure he's good. <gasps> Maybe get some water in him. Sure, sure, sure. Come on, over here, okay, honey. This is all proper Come procedure, on. Carmel. Just gotta make sure he's all. And she's not. Listen, you, you gotta make happen. sure she's not gonna get angry at him. Come over here, honey. Come I'm over not here. gonna get angry. If it's Guys, part of the process, I, I believe. Turk, what are you seeing her? You don't see in me. Maybe it just was a one-time thing. I was just lonely. I just needed a cuddle per person. So I'm perfect? You're perfect. Okay, where's I my money? There to watch. I, bitch, I gave you money. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Whoa. I gave you a little money. What Whoa! Do you want? Settle down. <sighs> Baby. Yeah? I promise you... That as soon as we walk out of this door, I'm buying you a new ring. Let me check on them. And I'm giving you money. All right. Make some fucking noises back here. As I you gotta get these girls rallied up. It's part of the therapy. Oh yeah, I mean Jing Tai, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get back out oh. there before they get recognized. Oh hell no. Susan. Oh, hell no. Oh hell no. What's the process? Oh, what? what the what fuck, fuck is going on what back What the fuck there? is going on? What can I say, ladies? Jing Tai really knows how to uh, <laughs> fulfill Why the needs. Why is he lying down? Ah, yes, the client is all relaxed now. Thank you, Susan. Ming? Don't what worry were you about it. It was about? all part of the procedure. Wait, Ming, were you the bottom? This is all part of the healing process. Yeah, were you the bottom? All right. Susan is a uh, a large bottom figure, so. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay, um, so what's next? I think we need to bring up, you know, your past relationships. Okay. What do you want to know? I'm an open yes, book. Let's hear about some of your scarring well, moments, your tragedies. I'd like to know how you feel about all of them. You know, what what was his name? Pilbis was one of them. Thingle. Bombing. Okay, Pilbis was a love bomber, which I don't like. You know, when people are like, oh my god, I love you so fucking much. You're so beautiful. Like, nonstop. Mm -hmm. It's just way too much. And he never gave me any space to breathe. So, I mean, we're friends now. He's, like, nice and everything, but I would never get back together with him. Um, and then there was V, which I'm pretty sure he died in, like, I don't know, Russia or something like that. He was the hottest one. <laughs> he was kind of hot, I can't lie. I don't but know, I'm gonna be he's honest. dead, so hot. that doesn't matter. Um, and Rami... <laughs> Rami's probably the most complicated one because I dedicated months and months of my life to him, being loyal and the best girlfriend that I could ever be. And he still cheated on me. So, you know, I still think that he owes me in some way. It's fun to flirt with him and stuff, but I really just want his money now. I feel like that'll finally get me the closure that I need. Let's see. Payback for how much hurt he did. Yeah, exactly. That's how I see it. Would you say Rami had the small stick? Because I'm getting a lot of uh, hints that maybe that's the case here. And that's probably oh, why he's doing these know. things. I, I have to admit, Rami knew what he was doing with the Damn. mouth that way. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it made up. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. Miss Susan, do you have any thoughts on this matter? You do expert, uh, you know, expertise in this type of category. Oh, what can I say? What can I say? Man, he knows how to move the mouth, baby. He really knows how to get it oh, done. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you experienced him as well. Um, you Rami too. You're damn right, you're damn right. 
Susan, are you guess, saying Rami has eaten like, that fat yeah. ass? Mm -hmm. Just like groceries, baby. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, yeah. Susan. That's incredible. You know, Ming, I will be honest here. Everything that I said on Truth Island the other day was the truth. Even the L word. Oh my god. She did no say that. No way. She did say that. It but then she tried out, to lie to everybody. But I meant it. <sighs> Holy shit, Ming. I know, man. It's a dub. Do you feel the same way, Ming? Of course I feel the same way. This is the best therapist. I think you're solving all our issues. Wow. Oh my god. I need a moment with Susan. Come here, girl. Wow. Okay, Susan. Okay, let's see what's Give going on. Okay. But she got a right. fat ass. <laughs> Can you Give stop? That back, Susan. What's going on, Carmela? Oh, Turk, do you need to get a session as well? You seem to be very stressed about oh, to have a panic attack. Right? No, I think no, uh, um, if I do anything like that, my wife will shoot up the whole place. I don't really feel <laughs> that way. Sorry. It's okay, ma'am. It's all part of the healing. Yeah, that's where... It... I think I, maybe I should get the healing from her well, at home. Well, ma'am, I really, really... I don't know. You gotta talk to Mr. K. It seems like he'll be able to do something for you. Sounds oh. good. Ow. Sorry, what was that? I don't know. I'm gonna go check. So, what do you think? How do you think I move forward from this, man? Okay. Between me and you guys? Yeah. Fuck bitches get money, man. <laughs> you know how I be, bro. Oh. <clears throat> um. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Wait, so what does fuck money get bitches huh? mean? Like, it's not fuck money get bitches. It's fuck <laughs> bitches get money. Get money, Turk. Huh? You never heard of the saying, Turk? No. Have you like, never like fuck, listened fuck, to a young money song? No. Do I fuck the girl and then get money, or I don't understand? Yeah, I mean, Pretty that's much. your goal in life: just fuck bitches and get money. No love, no nothing. No, I'm a love person. Aww, really? I'm loyal. I'll always stay loyal to my roots. Really? And my wife. You fuck Susan? And you're my bitch, right? Susan, yes, I'm your bitch. Yes, mommy. Listen. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I, okay, okay. Let me explain everything, okay? <laughs> the day that I had an affair with um, Susan was because we had a breakup thingy going on. It was a huge deal. And I was lonely. And I'd rather fuck someone like an escort than go fuck someone that's walking every day on the street and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, Somebody so you're me. saying that Susan is not right, increase a human? your chance of getting an STD? I understand. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I mean that's the <laughs> risk you take, right? Right, of course. So how would you feel if you walk around and you meet some some girl, you know, and she says like, "Oh, I fucked your man." Like, what? This one doesn't do that. You just she fucking, you know. Just did. Yeah, but this is a therapy thing. This is like you know, but she's not out in the streets and. We're you know, all open here, honey. We're all open here. Oh, Susan, we know you're very open. Uh, uh. <laughs> so maybe you need to talk to the back there and make sure he's relaxed, clear his mind. He seems to be very stressed. Uh, we're not able to, I'm not able to move forward with the with the procedures here. Because Come on he's back here, back. honey. Come on back here. Okay. Anna, close your ears. It's all what? part of the process, Anna. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're really good at this, Mr. Cab. Yeah, it's it's kind of a cleansing. It's like a uh, charcoal, except it's Susan. Susan's pretty much gonna fuck oh. all the bad energy out of you, man. Susan, I can't hear anything. Me. Are you guys talking to me? I oh. put stuff yeah. in my ears. Oh, <sighs> maybe it's better she didn't hear that. Yeah, maybe it's better <laughs> that she just ignores this. Oh my God, Turk baby! <gasps> what the? Oh my God, Turk! Oh. <sighs> ah. Oh, All right, just give him a back massage back there. Oh my god, okay. Watch, he'll be a new man. 
full of positive energy. <laughs> Oh my god. There, come on out now. What happened? And everything. Oh, nothing. What nothing at all, Anna. It's fine. Oh, oh, okay. There it comes. Yep. This is just part of the healing process. God. Why isn't he coming out? He's, he's making it. He's Wait. crawling over. He's crawling over. Seems like he's lost his sense of direction. Turk, are you okay? Man, you might need to go help him. <laughs> are you oh, good? Susan, you really cleansed this one. Wait, why are we here? What am I? What, what did you do to him, Susan? Susan Help. does a cleansing process. I got don't tell her secrets. Yeah, that drains your man of all mm. negative energy. Okay. Go ahead. You know, Go I don't ahead and ask him if he anymore. wants to be with an escort again. See you Guys. Oh. I think my soul is leaving my body. Wait, what? Oh my oh, god. Shit. That's right, my pussy kills, baby. What? Your what? What did yes, you do out uh, there? Susan's pussy Damn right. is the cleaning device. Damn right. Is he okay? Uh, Susan? Yes? Now you gonna, you know, check on him? <laughs> Come on, baby, this is just the after effect, honey. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Turk. We'll get you up to the hospital. What we'll get you uh, pussy, Very yeah? well. I guess this concludes Poison? today's session. I believe we made some very groundbreaking progress. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Um, <clears throat> thanks, Mr. K. Thanks, Susan. It's like the best yep, therapy pattern, session yep, I've ever Yeah, I, I feel like this is really good. Yeah, I feel like my marriage is stronger now. Yeah. Good. I'm so glad. I'm so I feel glad. like a bad bitch. If you guys need anything else, just give me a call. Me and Susan will be here for you. Thanks. Okay, and Susan, hug, you everyone. stay away from my men, okay? Yeah, Susan, stay away. You say, honey, whatever you say. <laughs> All right, I guess let's take him to the hospital. Take care. Bye. Bye. Come on, Susan. Let's go do some research. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that? Damn, bro, your girl's getting fucked on. Bro, she she for the streets, bro. Damn, bro. What the? First of all, how the fuck did you have that set up? Yo, but really, you're the winner, man. You just fucked both their boyfriends. I didn't actually. F Wait, what? No, I didn't fuck them, dumbass. Yeah, I know you didn't actually, but like, <laughs> they don't know that, so technically you did. Fuck. True. Damn, bro. Man, well, Carmelo's cut off then, Kay. God, she you you sure, my man? money, bro? The fuck? I don't know if you could do better than that. You kind of low tier, around it. She told me that she was using me for my money. <laughs> Shit, they might be out here still. Hold on. Okay, let's get you out of those clothes and get ready to yeah. go on a boat ride. Please do, please do. Who's around for this, by the way? Hell of people are calling me. I'm text right now. I think Dean Watson wanted a lick, by the way. A lick? Okay, I'll lick him. I mean, not Dean Watson, Dean Quincy, sorry. It's the K. Guam, Guam, what's up, baby? Guam, wow, brother, I insta claimed the vault earlier. Ooh. Good shit. Put the codes in your mailbox. Alright, you staying awake? I was just letting you know. Yeah, I'll be awake for a little bit. Run this side. Uh, Randy, oil Randy with said us. you guys are doing the oil rig? Yeah, when are you doing it? Shit, now we're gearing up. Come to the little cell. Now, alright, blood. Huh. Come on. Alright, one. Randy, no, you on here? Alright, we can put the...